how to grow eggplant part two. Hi everyone. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Riley. Welcome to my garden. And today we're talking about how to grow eggplant. Now about eight weeks ago, we put out a video on how to grow eggplant and I took it from how to start them from seed all the way up to where they're big enough to transplant into the garden. And I want to talk about the last eight weeks of growth and, and up to the harvest period where we are now. So some lessons learned this year. <clears throat> Number one, this was the first year that I had tomato hornworm go after my eggplant. Normally they go after my tomatoes and I use Bacillus thuringiensis as a preventative measure on my tomato plants to prevent the hornworm caterpillar from destroying them and <clears throat> I have already done a video on that and I'll put that video in the video description below if you're interested in that. But I found them for the first time this year on my eggplant. So as a lesson learned from, from here on out I will start applying Bacillus thuringiensis to my eggplants here in Zone 9B in my South Texas garden as a preventative measure. Never happened in the last four years of growing eggplant, both in the spring and the fall here. This was the first year they went after the eggplant. Uh, thankfully, they didn't do a lot of damage. I found them very, very early when they were very young. Applied the Bacillus thuringiensis every 10 days and did not have a problem after that. The other lesson learned this year was using diatomaceous earth around the base of my plant when they were seedlings to prevent damage from Japanese flea beetles. So as you're growing tomato plants, Japanese flea beetles can be a serious, serious problem. If you plant those plants too young, Japanese flea beetles can attack that and really destroy a young seedling. So it's important to wait, let your eggplants get eight to ten weeks old before you plant transplant them out in your garden and using a little bit of diatomaceous earth when they're young around the base of the plant in conjunction with still coming out every day and picking off any you find I think is a is a something that I'll repeat every year but I want to stress that it's very very important that we still go visit our plants once a day and look at them and look for damage and look for the Japanese flea beetles that have hopped over that diatomaceous earth and pull those off. And once these plants got a little bit bigger, I stopped using it altogether. I probably did two or three applications and that was it. Now harvesting eggplant. Harvest eggplant when they still have some shine to the eggplant. That's how I like them best. If you wait, this one is already, and I've just just clipped this off, but if you wait and they start to get a little bit of that matte or dull look to the eggplant, for me, they're past their prime. I like to pick them when they're nice and shiny and eat them fresh. So it looks like we're gonna be having, having eggplant tonight. Harvesting eggplant, very simple. I'll do a, a close-up shot of this so you can see it, but basically right where the stem of the eggplant meets the plant, you want to come in here and just snip that off with some snippers. The other thing that I do with my eggplant is I put stakes in beside them when I plant the seedlings. I do trim off normally to two I let these go to three main stems this year, but two or three main stems. Any more than that, and the fruit will sort of, those stems don't get big enough, and the fruit get heavy, and the stems start to lean over, and the branches can break, and you're better off just growing, uh, letting it grow two to three main stems. Put in a garden stake. <clears throat> I like to use garden Velcro. Wrap it right around the plant and right around the stake and it will hold it right there in place and I keep the garden velcro right on my right on my garden hog so I can I can peel it off when I need it I'm gonna pick another very large one I've got back here very very happy with my eggplant this year I also have soaker hose in this garden bed with a smart timer that 
just makes your life so much easier and not having to worry about watering the plants. And with a smart timer, it will skip watering if you have rain forecast in your area. I, I couldn't recommend them more. I've already done a video on this and I'll put that link in the video description as well. Growing eggplant is easy. Some simple tips I want to recap right now is start those seeds indoors and let those eggplants grow eight to ten weeks. Get pretty big before you transplant them in the garden. That is going to allow them to withstand a little bit of insect pressure and they will get a little bit of insect pressure. Use diatomaceous earth around the base of the plants to deter Japanese flea beetles but don't forget to come out every single night and have a look at them, especially right after you transplant. So if you see those Japanese flea beetles, you want to pick those off and kill them immediately. And don't forget, use a stake to support your plant and trim that eggplant to two or three main stems. You're going to get plenty of fruit off that eggplant with two or three main stems. And the limited amount of stems is going to mean that plant's putting more energy into those fruits. It's also less likely to bend over and break those stems. Well everyone, thanks for watching. If you haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link right here to part one, how to grow eggplant. If you've never grown eggplant before, watch those videos, give it a try. It really is not very difficult. It's very rewarding. A couple preventative measures for pests and you can be sure you're going to get great eggplant all season. See you next week.